Welcome to the Axiom. New file detected. Launching file. Hello world. My name is Leo and today we are continuing the A Hat in Time file. Where we last left off, we assumed the role of, um... Whoever we are. And we uh, were flying home in our spaceship, powered by hourglasses, and we uh, got ambushed by the Mafia, and they knocked all of our hourglasses onto this planet. And now we are trying to get them back. We made friends and then enemies with a mustache girl, and... Yeah, it's been a very strange experience, but a very charming one. And so yeah, today we are going to start the second act, which I believe was in here. So I'm thinking this game's going to be d divided into five acts with about eight star eight hourglasses each. Um it did say when I booted up the game again that we are 20% of the way through. So, yeah. Oh, what is this? It's a bookcase, also known as a cool word zone, or a thing you can't even slightly fill yourself. Steven, you'll never find a publisher, and all that time you spend in your study is time you could spend with your kids, depending on where you're from. Well, that's depressing. But anyway, um... Let's go ahead and start Act 2. Enough dilly dallying. So, what is this? Chapter 2 Battle of the Birds. Time Rift Detected. I need to find it though, right? Look at photo. Ooh, it's gonna be like at night. Oh, is this like a movie set? Alright, Dead Bird Studio. Mission, find out where those timepieces went. Top review, two and a half stars, actors all terrible. Legal status totally not allowed in. Well then. Ooh, okay, it is a movie studio. Interesting. Um, so I did, I was thinking about it after I finished the game. Oh, interesting. Same song, but like with a horn. Oh, now a very different song. But anyway, I was thinking about it. And I said that before that I had played just Spyro and uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom. And I also said that this game feels very strange un and unlike anything I've played. But I can't help but wonder, if I were to play Bikini Bottom now, because I haven't played the remake, I wonder if I were to play it now, if I were to feel the same way, if this was just, if this, if it would be like strange. This movie oh. studio is too big for the both of us, DJ. Gruz. The <laughs> movie should be made by real birds. You moon penguins are just gonna write some loud, noisy treble. If I wanted a bunch of picnics to dance around while on bird seed, ha! I'd visit my grandchildren. I I love how literally everyone has such an over-the-top accent. Nonsense, darling. Nonsense. You owl express birds are just gonna record another boring train-related western. You've done so for the last ten years, darling. All right. So which one's the villain? What? No, we haven't, your buffoon. Conductor, darling. This year we'll be winning the annual Bird Movie Award, as our new movie props will bring in the audiences. Oh. I see you have a timepiece. These shiny piece. things fell from the sky. They will light our movie sets and fill them with glimmer. Hey, I need those. Oh, yeah. Well, this time around, we're also spicing it up with our newest movie props. Hey, uh, I see you also have... These hourglass thingies will be the grand jewel in our train heist western. Okay. Hmm. What the they're what? right there. They're 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 right there. I can just take them. You no good, dirty picnics. 
You copied our props! Uh... I would never, darling. Clearly, you're the one who took inspiration in my flashy new props. Oh, that does it! Get out of here with ya! I've got a movie to record! Fine by me, darling. I will say that is but not a Western accent. Win the annual bird movie award. Mark my word. Can I have the annual bird movie award? Oh yeah! Let's see <laughs> how well you do when you can't get into the reception. <laughs> Okay, well, that's that just makes the decision for me as to which I'm gonna go. Shutting the picnics inside the studio will force them to work harder. Um, all right, time to go, owls. Let's make our killer movie. And, uh, receptionist, can you please close off that vent already? I don't want the smell of penguin to come anywhere near my crew. Hey, how convenient. No humans allowed, only birds allowed. How did they not see me? Okay, so. I also, I want to um, say that I just because I, I don't remember if I said that this game was like not catered towards me last time or not, or like... The game is still good, and I'm having a lot of fun. It's just that I've played so many, like, serious games throughout my entire life, and especially within the last uh, few years, that this just, it feels so different from anything I've played recently. So, yeah, let's go ahead and, I guess, uh, let's mess up your western. Let's talk to everyone. I wanted to ask this reception guy a question, but he hasn't acknowledged me at all. Is he, does he have his eyes closed? Uh, but now I've been standing here for so long, it'd be awkward to start up a conversation. Are you sure? It... I really suck at interacting with other birds. I mean, you started a conversation with me, no problem. And also, wouldn't it be awkward, more awkward for you to just continue standing there? Oh, hey, little chirper. They're recording right now, so no one's allowed in. We're only insured for bird staff. Letting you in would be a liability. Don't even think about sneaking inside. I would never. So, hi. Don't tell anyone this, but before DJ Grooves became fascinated by movies, he actually ran a nightclub. I know. Crazy, right? Who would have thought? I hey, have no idea. Watch where you're going, buddy. Don't get near DJ Grooves, all right? DJ Grooves means a lot to us, so we gotta protect him. Don't you think of anything, yeah? I'll be watching you, buddy. Eyes on you. Is that why you're out here and not in there with him? You're no bird, eh? Then what brings you to Dead Bird Studio? Before you answer, you should watch DJ Grooves' latest movie. It's real good, and I'm not being paid to say that. Honest. <laughs> okay. Hey, little girl! You should join our DJ Groove's fan club. You get a membership card and everything. It's a real good deal for any movie-going bird. I'm not a bird, though. Ooh, what is this? Can I get... Oh, I have sunglasses now? Can I... That I just have that now. You see my fingers here? You see how yep. they're snapping? Yep. That is the universal bird sign for beat it. Oh, huh? look. My fingers have taken a liking to you. Look at them go. Snap, snap, snap. You catch my drift? The voice acting in this game... <laughs> I, it, it, like... It, it's kind of hilarious. I know it's intentionally hilarious, and like over the top, but it, I don't know. It's just super fitting. All right, huh? hello. You want that movie prop they carried in? I do actually. Are you the kind of person that sells movie props on eBird? Um, no. What is uh, eBird? Hi there. I'm an express owl. Hi. Which really just means I ride the Owl Express that the conductor runs. So you're an extra in the movie? I need to ride the train to get to work, but the conductor makes unexpected stops all the time. 
Isn't he making a movie? I have no idea why we're at a movie studio. I need to be at work in 15 minutes. I think you have the wrong train. I don't really get this feud between the conductor and DJ Grooves. Like, why does a train operator and a disco guy want to compete? We're all birds here, right? Shouldn't we cooperate? I don't know, I don't man. know. I guess cooperating is kind of stupid. I guess. Yeah. Just ignore me. I will. You have nothing to say? What are you saying? Uh, yeah, sorry. The conductor has said only birds are allowed past here. And he specifically said no penguins of any kind. But I'm not a penguin. I have no idea why. I'm just a passenger on his train. Whatever gets us back on the train faster. So, oh, uh, I'm confused. Hi. Welcome, young one. Please make a purchase at my humble stall. What do you have that's a new upgrade to a scooter? You die in one hit. Oh. Well, I don't have enough for any of it. Bye. So, who, where do I want to go first? Is there anything in this box? I guess not. Uh, filming in progress. Uh, filming in progress. Let's go for... You know, let's, let's do the penguins first. Cool. Trespassing Dead Bird Studio. Oh, I'll be billed for 7,000 things. 7,000 gems. I don't have 7,000 gems, though. Oh. <laughs> so now I'm a spy. Oh, do I have to... Is it... Am I actually stealthing right now? Am I not supposed to get caught? Ooh. This music is incredibly fascinating. Oh, thank goodness I didn't jump up. Oh. Oh, I can't hit him. Got it. Okay. So I, like, actually need to be stealthy. Let's make this year's blockbuster. Penguins get ready. Action. So there's not actually there's not a whole lot for me to collect. Let's make this movie happen. Oh, I'm going towards both In movies. Position. Action. Uh That seems very what can I do here? Oh. All right. Secret agent mode. Activate. All right. Oh, you go. You like switch fast. Okay. Assault on cactus. Oh. Okay, then. I'm full on health. Seems like the middle is clear. So let's go up. Oh my god. Owl harassment minus 500. I didn't harass any owls though. Uh. Alright. Oh, we got yarn. Okay, I think that's where I'm supposed to go. Oh, we got the time rift as well. Hang on, let me grab this yarn really quick. Ice yarn. You've got enough... Oh, I have enough yarn to stitch it. So let's go ahead and stitch that. Enough to stitch a hat. So cold. Hold LT to do a ground pound. Okay. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, so that's what I can... I can do that with all of those platforms in the first act. All those platforms required ice cute ice blocks. I look so cool right now. Look at me. I look amazing. Oh, I'm wearing double sunglasses. Heck yeah. Time rift for Dead Bird Studio. Oh, this will send me back to the beginning, won't it? But it was right here. I really like the music in these areas. Oh, ooh, almost missed that. One of eight. Any other ones that I can see? No, okay. Oh, so I'm, like, still stealthing. Interesting. So do I just, like... Hang on, let me swap hat. I can't, like... Okay, never mind. Uh, I'll just switch back to the ice hat. Oh my goodness, the camera. <laughs> Anything back here? No. Although there are two uh, crowns over there. Alright, I'm seeing a lot of... I don't think I can get up there. So maybe this is my way of like coming back if I fall. I just gotta be careful with these wires. What the heck? Okay. Ow! What is up with the camera? Let me actually go from this way. Okay, then. So yeah, these angles are, like, weird, and the camera's not doing me any favors. Mm. I really wish the camera wouldn't, like, zoom in like that. See, why is the camera like this? Oh, so I can't grab onto that, apparently. Okay, this will make things easier, I think. Hopefully. There we go. I don't know, that camera was weird. Okay, so now we can go here. Nope. Okay. 
I'm up here now. Can I actually... There we go. I don't even need to be up here. Or up there. Alright. But I do want that, uh, thing. Question is, how do I get that? This wire seems to be safe, so we'll do that. Okay. What badges do I currently have equipped? Yeah, no more bonking against walls when diving. Um. Okay, got it. Yeah. And got it, okay. There's a piece of paper pinned to this crate. It's a receipt for a bunch of prop supplies. Weird. Seems like someone snuck a copy of Corgi Quest 7 on onto this order, but it doesn't seem to have been delivered properly. Looks like they got a crate of fish instead. Huh. Interesting. W we did play Corgi Quest 7 last time, last recording session, and man, it was certainly something. Okay, nothing here. Oh, whoops. Didn't see that. What the heck is up with this camera? Aha! Got that at least. Making sure I'm keeping an eye out for all, any and all secrets. Now we can actually see what this does. Or actually, let me get this. Okay. Okay, cool. That's actually really neat. That's actually kind of awesome. Okay, but let me go ahead and go this way and then this way. Can I go up, get up here? Oh. The only way I was able to accomplish that was because the camera wouldn't show me where I was going. <laughs> oh my goodness. Man, I hope the camera's not going to be like that the entire game. Like, I can tolerate it for a couple of levels, but that's going to get frustrating real quick if I can't see where I'm going. Alright, so I need four, I have three. Okay. Um... Do these work like balloons? Okay. All right. I feel like I'm missing a couple. That looks like an art piece, or I'm not sure. But either way, we're gonna try to get it. See, I can't move the camera up or down. I can only move it left or right. Where am I? Uh, 
Okay. See, yeah, stuff like that is weird. <laughs> and I would love to see where I'm falling as well. Okay, there it is. That's what I want. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now I want over here. And then over here. Nope. There we go. Okay. Finally here. I can easily get back. So let me go ahead and switch to this hat. Got a crown, and we also got this. Okay. There's a lot of actually kind of complex platforming here. Nope. Oh, I'm back at the beginning? Really? I didn't see those cameras. Oh, was this how I was supposed to do it? Is this what the camera wouldn't let me see? Aha! There's something. Alright, so I need to go back then, in that case. to get past them. Or I guess I can... Hang on. Let me try to cheese this a little bit. There we go. Okay. Is there anything here that I am missing? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, let, let's try to go back then. So we have people who can see me now. Oh my. What are these? Okay. So I need to find all of these platforms and bounce on them. Ah. All right, I'm powering something up top. We have uh, another seven out of eight. Ah, oh, my goodness. And then. Was that it in terms of buttons? Alright, so I need to get higher up. Oh, okay. Nope. Alright. Ooh, okay. Next one. 
Okay. Can I attack you? Oh. No, I cannot. Not without getting caught, at least. But that's good to know. All right. Four to four health, heck yeah. That platform doesn't exist. I can make that jump. And then... The question is, can I make the jump back? Uh... Okay. Well, close enough. <laughs> and then... Boom. Keep an eye out for that eighth and... Okay. Okay. So now jump off here and go. Okay. I'm not seeing the... Uh final thing, but maybe I'm not done with the rift yet. What was the point of all the buttons? Did I do what I wanted to do? Did I power the thing? Hang on, let me get this. And then... Okay, so I'm on the last thing. There's the hourglass. Huh. Oh my. Camera? There's the eighth one. Was that purely just to get the eighth thing? I think it was. Okay. So what is this saying about the studio? Is it saying that... It's gonna be ruined one day? Or is this the, is this the past or the future? I can't tell. <laughs> Come on. There we go. So this is going to send me back home. <laughs> Conductor and Groove's Big Dreams. So, both came from very different viewpoints. They both watched the same shows. They both saw that the movies would make them the number one. And that's where they both had their dream. And they both wanted to... They both rented the same studio? And so they split the studio down the middle. How did that happen? It's not every day you overbook something like that. Hat Flare? You know what, sure. What is a Hat Flare? 
You can now swap the appearance of this item. Oh, okay. I'll equip it, but then not equip it because I like my other hats better. Upload successful. Click here to view previous files. Have a pleasant day.